Hello guys, welcome to Merge Vans King. So as you can see, today will be a very special video because here we have a Mercedes-Benz Classic. This is the Ponton 220A, actually the first Mercedes with a uni body after the World Wars. And we are heading back to the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. And by the way, we are at the GP Zoot where they have a lot of classic cars. So you might think, how does this machine work? I will show you all the details, so let's go inside. Before we open the door, you can see it has some, as I call it, G-Class characteristics. With an actual button you have to press for it to open. And it has a great sound. Amazing sound. And just look at the design of this ponton. As I mentioned, it is the first unibody car after the World Wars. So the chassis is actually connected to the rooftop. So let's go inside and I will show you the interior. It has special racing seats, so it's kind of difficult to go inside. So let's try. So you really slide in. Let's close it. Amazing. So this is the design back in 1955. There's a Mercedes star on the steering wheel. And this metal thing that is actually an indicator. So if you move it to the right, it will indicate to the right and also the other way around. This is the key for the Mercedes-Benz Ponton. So let's insert it and I will show you how to start the engine. I will turn the key. It has a start button so I will just press it and at the same time push the gas pedal so it gets the vibe. It sounds crazy. You have to press it to keep the engine working. So let's get rid of the handbrake. You have to push it down. And yes, everything in this car is manual. A real machine. So I will just press the brake and the clutch. And it has a poke, just like on the new Mercedes-Benz design with an automatic gear shifter. But this one isn't automatic, of course. So just pull it towards you. That's the first gear. Down, second gear. Third gear, fourth gear. And if you want to put it in reverse, just pull it towards you a little bit tougher and up. So let's take it for a drive. First gear, let's go. It is raining a lot, so let's activate the windshield wipers. Press this, and it actually works with ropes. Nothing is electric in this car. So let's go. So guys, we have been driving for a few hours now, and it is time to head to the hotel and prepare for tomorrow. Blinker. And to the right. And I hope the weather conditions will improve. So guys, that was a really rough ride, amazing car to drive the experience. So we finally arrived at the hotel near Spa Racetrack and we will be preparing for tomorrow because it will be amazing with this car on the track. 
So let's go. I never thought a classic would drive like this. With amazing sound. The rattles. You're really one with the car. So this is actually the curve where Mika Henneken overtook two Formula One players. And we barely managed to get up the cliff. So guys, we just arrived here in Luxembourg, just across the border with Germany. And these are just beautiful roads. And handling the car really fits this nature. Very rough. Nice cliffs. A lot of cars are parked here. That's because there must be something to see. There's a castle on the top of the mountain. So let's stop here. Pretty tough to drive this in the city because it has no assistance with the steering. It's also great for taking corners. So guys, here we are in Luxembourg, just over the border with Germany. And that's the castle of Janden. A beautiful place, a lot of people, and you could already see the people on the ropes going down the hill. Amazing. So let's continue the road trip on our way to Stuttgart Museum of Mercedes-Benz. Let's go.
So guys, as you can see, we made it to Trier past Luxembourg and it is quite dark now. So that means we will continue the road trip also in a night drive all the way to Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart, of course. A beautiful city, let's enjoy it and move forward. Let's go. Oh, it's freakishly is closed. Okay, wait a second. 